Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Book Mail here on CM42 TV. This is episode three. And uh, we are back. This is the Waterstones Challenge Edition. We kind of hinted at this last time when we talked about the books that we had recently read and picked up and stuff. And we said we're going to go to Waterstones this week. That was about a month ago. <laughs> um, ago. But we're finally here showing you what we picked up from Waterstones. And you might be thinking, no, that's good. Like you've left it a month. That means you've probably read all the books and stuff. <laughs> Me, no comprende. Me, no. I, uh, I've not read either of these two. Spoiler, I got two. The Rich was read one. I've read one of them. I got three, but one's like a journal type thing, so it's not like a reading one. Okay, well since you got three, why don't you go first? Okay. So this is a Hufflepuff journal. Um, it's very fun. I got very excited. We saw it in a different Waterstones, and I was like, I don't need it. And then I saw the spine, and I was like, oh, it looks so pretty in my bookshelf because I have a Harry Potter shelf in my bookshelf. Yes, that's now become part of the, like the itinerary when you're shopping. Like, how's it going to look aesthetically? Yeah. You know. So then when we saw it in the other one, I was like. I'm just going to buy it. So yeah, I'm not even taking the sticker off because usually I don't like stickers on my book. Yeah. But I like what it says from the films. I probably can't see that, but it's the Harry Potter thing. I think they believe you. No it's probably. okay, it says something about Harry Potter. I quite like that. It gives you like a set task or whatever. But then That's I can cool. do it every night. Look, there's cool pictures in it too. And it talks about Cedric, so it must be fun. Rachel's a Cedric fan. Obviously. So, and she's written her name in the front page. This book belongs to Rachel. Rachel. See, it says here, it gives you the introduction and it says, I'm going to read all them obviously, it just says From Cedric Digby and Professor Sprout, Nymphadora Tonks, Hufflepuffs are represented by a wide range of witches and wizards. Nice, uh, that's so fine. That makes me very happy. That's good, I like that. We, um, when we went to watch Stones that day, we had like a whole day in town, we were having food and stuff like that, so we did a wee sort of like... Oh, I got my talk. We did a vlog and we did a TikTok. Yeah, I did make a TikTok. Um, I posted a TikTok on my Instagram. You can get me on there, at cm42tv if you want to follow. As soon as we went into the Waterstones, we... The Waterstones. The Waterstones. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to go to like the kind of like movie kind of section first. I don't know why. I think we just wanted because to see the pretty Harry Potter. I'm stuff. still trying to find um, Dead Poets Society. Ah yes, as a book, that's right. But like in a specific cover, like we're, oh. we're kind of on a oh yeah, watch your classes. I know, I know. I'm on a specific mission to find this, but like I could just order a copy online. But I kind of like the challenge of trying to find it. So, but we ended up that day. We got um, the blurry of it. Where did we get this? And we got it on FOP. FOP. So oh, it's the lightning, Chris. Right. But, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Me. So we managed to find yes. it on Blu-ray, which she's been looking for for a while. So that's now an addition to the Blu-ray collection here. So as we're in the movie section, uh, I saw this. This is Never Grow Up, the Jackie Chan autobiography. And the reason that I wanted this is just because it's always been on my radar. I've been such a big Jackie Chan fan since I was really young, actually, when I first saw the um, the Rush Hour films and other sort of daft um, late 90s, early 2000 films that he was in around that time. And I just always loved his fights and I don't know, it's just all of his like action scenes and stuff always made me a big fan, just like anybody else becomes a Jackie Chan fan. So um, I've had this on my radar for a long time in terms of reading about his life and his story and stuff. So um, it just felt like the right time. There's a bunch of them um, on the shelf and they were all in really bad condition. They were all like bent at the top here yeah. and scratched and ripped and stuff, but I went to the very back and that this was the, fine. the final copy on the shelf and it was in the best condition. So. I picked that one up immediately and I was walking about for like the rest of the ever that we were in Waterstones carrying this so I got this one right from the start so I was I was dead set on getting this and I'm looking forward to reading it. I've got another autobiography to read first and then we're moving on to Never Grow Up by Jackie Chan. Well, I've read this one. So I got Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, I've been putting off reading this book for literally maybe like I don't want to say a year and a half, I don't know when it came out, like a long time anyway, like a fair amount of time. Um, because I was, everyone told me it was pure sad and I was like, <laughs> I just know I'll get attached. And I, this was the cover I wanted, I don't like the other cover, it's like kind of bronze and like, I don't know, but I really like this cover. I really like it um, too, that's a nice colour of blue. I really enjoy it. But yeah, so, it was, <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird right, so it was very overhyped to me but not in general, like I think it, it deserves the hype it gets, but to me, everyone, like, as if this was going to be my new favourite book. And I was yeah, you had very high like, expectations. It was fu like, my expectations like up here. Right. Which they had, they can't, you can't do that. Which is never a good you thing, even with that. movies and songs and stuff, like yeah. all that stuff. You just can't do that. So one of my friends is like, you're a monster, you did not die <laughs> at the end of this book. Do you and have I was a heart? Like, I'm so sorry. That's but funny. it's actually after reading it, when I read stuff like online, ah. I that, I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice! <laughs> I also can't pronounce any of their names and it's because I'm dumb and not very good with because it's like Greek mythology so right. I'm really not clued up on that but yeah, very good quotes love their writing and probably would read their other book but just like in a bit of time once I'm... 
I don't know about you, but see when there's like there's different characters in books that have like difficult names to read and pronounce and stuff. Does that stuff like slow you down? It slows me Sometimes, down when I read stuff. It's not necessarily difficult. You need to get used to it's the character more, names. more um, when you get introduced to a bunch of characters in one go. Oh ah, like, yeah, that's true. When I started off with the game series, and there was the twins who were called Aaron and Andrew, and then there was like all the team, <laughs> right. and I was like, ah, hold on, who's who's yeah. backstory is what? But no, but yeah, I'm glad I read it. Like I'm really glad that I have read it because it's one of those ones that like everyone talks about. So yeah, so when I was in Watchstones that day, I picked up the Jackie Chan one really early, and I was like, I don't just want like the journey to be over. That <laughs> I found it immediately. <laughs> I want to have that fun of like trying to find something and then discovering one, and going, oh, that might be quite good. So I had a few in my hand, and I was like, one of these could be really good. And there was one that was like a romantic comedy sort of thing that I was thinking I don't really have any books like that in my collection, if if you want to call it that. Um, I've never really read much of a romantic comedy before, so I thought maybe that you might should. be something a little bit different for me and stuff. Maybe easier to read than. I don't know, other books that I could potentially get. Um, but there was something about this one that I really liked. I picked up uh, The Boy Who Fell, it's called, by Joe Spain. Um, and, what? <laughs> Which is the name, Joe Spain? No, because I, I always think it's pain. Yeah, and I'm always like, it's not Spain, and then it is Spain. I just think, there's something about the cover that I really liked. Um, the tagline is that six teenagers with everything to live for, now one mistake will haunt them forever. She seems like um, a nice person. She commented that she liked my thing. Like, that, oh yeah, that's right. It. That's right. And it's number one best spelling. <laughs> it's one best spelling, best selling. And she's the author of The Confession. If anyone knows what The Confession is, there you go. I don't know, I read the back. I like the idea of the book. I quite like the fact that it's a blind buy. Like, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know any of the characters. I've never read any of her stuff before. So, um, you know the baby, you're just kind of walking about. You're trying to find the right one. I like the cover. I like the sound of the story and stuff. It's not too big. It's about 360 pages. I just thought that's an ideal one. So, I like that idea. Just... Um, we'll pick up anything and then hopefully it's good and then if it's not, no big deal, you know, but if it is then great, so. Um, and then the other one I got is called Forever End on Friday by Justin A. Reynolds. We've just discussed how it has a different name in the American version, I don't really know why. The Sometimes that happens, I guess. It's called but... Early Departures and I knew that was coming out because I follow Justin A. Reynolds because I read his other book, Opposite of Always, um, I don't know if that's his first novel, I'm not sure. I read that when we were on holiday, two years Ago, two years ago. Two years ago. Two thousand nineteen. Whenever that was. So I read that then, and I was. I thought it was really interesting. Like it wasn't like my favourite book ever, but like I was like, it's a really strange concept. So I was like, when I saw this, like, and I like the cover and stuff. So I thought it'd be really interesting. But yeah. It will be interesting. I really. It's, so I just read a good reads. Well, I didn't read the review, but I was checking to see about the name, like how they're different names. And someone was like, this book was heavy in capital letters, and I was like, okay, <laughs> cannot wait. But okay, I mean, we're here for that. But we like that though, because I mean, it's going to be like a really in-depth story, and you're going to feel attached and stuff. Well, it's the opposite of always had the same kind of like it deals with death, but like it's strange, like it's okay. not. I don't know how to explain it without giving spoilers, so it's just, okay. I don't know, but no I'm really excited to read video. it, but. So those were our pickups from our Waterstones Day on May the 4th last month. Hope everyone's doing well, and if you're reading anything fun right now, let us know in the comments, please. Again, Instagram is at CM42TV. You can also get me on Twitter at CM42TV. And also, Rachel has an Instagram dedicated to reading and books and all that collecting stuff. A bookstagram. <laughs> it's called Read It With Rachel. Um, if you just want to go on my Instagram, and I'm, I've tagged it a bunch of times, or in my followers list, it's on there, you can't find it yourself. Read It With Rachel for all of Rachel's updates on <laughs> the books that she is documenting and stuff for 2021. So, yeah. Thanks for watching everybody, these were our pickups, and we will see you all next time in another very exciting edition of Bookmail right here on CM42 TV. Goodbye.